Hi guys, it's still Mr. Richard. Yes, this video is specifically for those of you who are doing MIP 1502 in the University of South Africa. Right, um, in this video we are going to work with question 1. Today I will upload question 1, then tomorrow I will upload question 2 and 3. So I want you to listen carefully as this will help you to prepare for your uh, October, November 2022. But this one was uh, September, October, November 2021. The first part was saying uh, pattern can be represented in different patterns can be represented in different uh, ways. Mention and describe five ways of representing patterns. Use examples to explain your description. Well, when they say pattern can be represented in different ways, uh, they mean that it can be represented in flow diagram, it can be represented in tables, it can be represented graphically, uh, it, it can also be represented visually. So, those are the ways of uh, representing, or in a number line, which is the fifth one. Those are the ways of representing... Um, Patterns, but let's put it into practice. Let's put it into pen, right? Yes, when you put it into pen, we know that a uh, pattern can be represented in flow diagrams. Okay, so remember that when you talk about, consider this, for example, a flow diagram may be, let's say I have 2n minus 1 here. Uh, one, which is uh, two, three, maybe here these are inputs in terms of x, and this here, and, 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 and this here are output in terms of y. So I know that when I put one here or I replace one, where does n? Two times one, that will be two. Two minus one, that will be one. Okay, secondly, when I put two, 2 times 2, that will be 4. 4 minus 1, that will be 3. 2 times 3, that will be 6. 6 minus 1, that will be 5. So that's an example of a flow diagram. Remember they said, mention 5 ways and use examples to describe your description. Right, that's uh, our number 1. Our number 2, we said that it, it can be represented in table. So let's, let, let, let's, put, it, let's put this into table. Let's use the same rule then. This, you'll be given a rule. Let's use the same rule. Here, it's still inputs in terms of x and your output in terms of y. So here I'm having 1, 2, 3, blah, blah, blah. This is an example. So here it will be 1. Uh, our output 3 as well as 5. So that's how you can do it in terms of when you're, when, when you're putting it into table, uh, 3, it can be represented graphically. Okay, in the form of graph, may, you, you may draw a straight line, consider the straight line. Let's say there are points, 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 maybe let's say this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is X and this is y y axis and x axis right then the the fourth one will be the number line you may be asked to replace yes you, you may be asked to represent it in number line we can represent parts in number line let's consider this see i'm having negative two negative one zero one two so this is in a number line then the fifth one will be graphically I mean, will be visuals. We can represent this in visuals. So what we can do here, let's say term one has a one dot, term two has a three dots, maybe term three has a five dots. So that's how you can represent your pattern uh, in, in different ways. Now we are going to work with 1.2. Uh, at 1.2.1, they said, suppose that the expression represents the number of tiles used at any stage of growing a pattern. So determine the value of the expression T1, T2, and T3. So in this case, 
where we see t we will substitute one we're also going to substitute two uh, we're also going to substitute uh, three right let's put this into practice yes uh, let's put this into practice remember that uh, we are on 1.2 so the expression is given as 3t three, three plus 2 and we're given t1 uh, t2 and as well as t3 so meaning that where there is t we shall substitute 1 there so we are going to say 3 times 1 plus 2 what is that we are going to get 5 because 3 times 1 is 3 3 plus 2 is 5 let's place 2 3 times 2 uh, that will be uh, 6 plus uh, 6 plus 2 that will be 8 right let's place 3 3 times 3 that will be 9 plus 2 that's 11 so that's how you can work with uh, that's how you can work with 1.2.1 right so let's go to 1.2.2 at 1.2.2 what do do, do the values which you derive in 2.1 tell you about the pattern? What do the values which you derived in 1.2.1 tell you about the pattern? All right, so let's see how, what does it tell us? We have uh, 5, we have 8, we have uh, 11. First thing, let's check, is this an arithmetic uh, sequence? 8 minus 5, definitely that is 3. 11 minus 8, that is 3. So in other words, uh, in other words, this is a, a, a linear pattern or an arithmetic pattern. So we can say it's an arithmetic pattern. It tells us that this is an arithmetic pattern with a constant, a constant uh, difference. The difference is it's the we can we, we saw that we get three. The constant difference will be three in this case. Then we have answered. Um, 1.2 then at 1.2.3 oh first thing oh it tells us that th th this is an arithmetic pattern oh let's see describe how at 1.3 at 1.2.3 describe in in weight how the pattern is growing we keep adding by a uh, i will explain it by saying we keep keep adding by three keep adding by the constant difference 3 by 3 to grow the pattern in the simplest English to grow uh, the pattern yes keep adding by 3 to grow the pattern consecutively yes that's how we can work with uh, 1.2.3 then let's go to 1.2.4 at, uh, at 1.2.4 design a visual di diagrammatic uh, or a pictorial representation of the pattern that grows according to this rule. Draw a square to represent a tile. All right. Let's go to our pattern. The first term is how many tiles a square will have. A, maybe it will have five. So it will be one, two, three, four, five. You will draw it accurate using a ruler. Then here it's, uh, it's going to be two. Oh, six that's the second tile eight okay and the other one will be two four six eight okay that's six eight then ten and eleven yes yeah, so that's how in a, a, this is how this will be the the the, the visual democratic visual diagrammatic or a pictorial representation of the of the pattern that grows according to the rule okay so those are the squares that those are the square that we that, that is the square that is required to draw them yes uh that, that that's that's why they gave you six marks for that then let's go to um uh, 1.2.5 explain where do you see the the three and two in the expression uh, 3 plus t and t in your visual representation of uh the the, the, the of of the, of the pattern okay what we can deduce from this is, is that it, it's that 
remember that we are given 3 plus t. So the 3 here, it's a, it's, it's a coefficient. It's a coefficient in this case. Then the 2 is the, is the constant. Is the constant. That's what we can uh, deduce from um, this expression. Right, then at, at 1.2.6, they want us to represent, represent your pattern by a flow diagram showing the first four terms. Yes, we need to represent this in a flow diagram. Let's put it into practice. In a flow diagram, we will take, first thing we'll put the rule here, 3 plus t. We know that the, the first term, we have the second term, we have the third term, we have the fourth term. What was the first term there? The first term was 5, right? Uh, the second term was 8 and the third term was, uh, was 11. Why? 3 times 1, that's 3 plus 2, that's 5, yes. Let's find the, 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 the fourth term. 3 times 3, 3 times 4, that's 12. That's 12 plus 2, that's 14. So that's how you can represent this in a, right, in a, in a flow diagram, the first four terms. Hope you find this video useful and uh, don't forget to subscribe as I will continue, our second video will be uh, at 1.3. Yes, 1.3 will continue at 1.3. Don't forget to click the red button and subscribe as we are going to work with 1.3. At 1.3, remember, it says the rows uh, below shows the set of uh, consecutive odd numbers and they are total. So uh, I will also upload the, 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 the second video today, right? Um, all the best for those who are writing tomorrow. And don't forget to subscribe and like and share and comment. We love you.